Grand Rising. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. My name is Alvin Catalan. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're on Instagram or YouTube, welcome. I do daily messages on Instagram, so you should really check me out there because those are pretty deep. Uh, I don't do monthlies or or zodiac signs often, so check out the the positive words of, of affirmation and empowering readings, Taurus, for on my Instagram. And if you're returning, welcome back to my soul fam. I love you guys. Uh, my fam here, we engage a lot. So speak. This We're all going through the same journeys. In just different time, We're all on different timelines. Different soul purposes, right? In the same timeline. Uh, we're all having the same experiences in different ways. So engagement definitely builds a community. So be a part of that high vibe community. Welcome on. Welcome on in. This is going to be a relationship spread for Taurus. And it's going to be if you're dealing with someone, right? You have you've already built a connection with them. It doesn't mean that you have to be in a relationship with them. You've already engaged energy. You've exchanged energy electronically, DM texts, or in person, and you're about to go on a date with them, or you want to go on a date with them. This can go in both ways. See it how you want. You don't have to be in a relationship with them. And then at the end, I'll timestamp it. We'll do a singles reading for if you're not dealing with anybody at all, uh, past, present, future, and who might be coming towards you. So let's dive in. Actually, first, I want to give a shout out to Safe Stones. I have a black tourmaline on a gold choker neck. I fucking love it. I'm going to tag them below. And I have the, this is a cool one that I can't wait to wear. It's on a safety pin. They have a cool one that goes like this. That's cool. Anyway, if you like modern day jewelry, crystal jewelry, right? I think it's modern day. Uh, check them out. Their link, their information is somewhere in the description area. And let's dive in. Yeah. So tell me, Taurus, this is going to be, if you're in a connection with someone, tell me what is the core of this relationship? The core of this relationship. What is in their head? What is in their heart? What you are showing them? What is in your head? What is in your heart? And what you are showing them? So the core of this relationship is pretty deep. Eight of Cups with the King of Swords. It's pretty clear. You guys are very clear, right? You guys are very, you're, you're listening to each other. It's very good communication here, Taurus. Could, or could be very good communication. You'll know how it resonates. Um, but it is something deep, right? Uh, and I, I'm taking this as, as, as a deep card. Because this card typically means like you want something deeper. It very well can be that. But with this card coming out, if you're clearly communicating what your deep desires are, then you could be aligning very well. If you're not clearly communicating what your deepest desires are, then this might not be your story, right? Take that how it resonates. But what's in their head? They're, they see things clearly. They have, they are aware. They are consciously awoke. This person that you're dealing with is consciously aware of what's going on, right? So they know what they want and they know what they don't want. Now, what their heart space, where their heart is at, is Three of Cups. So tell me two things. They want to be friends or they they really see community and connection as a deep aspect. They see that being connected is a big deal for them, especially if they are consciously aware of their actions, right? They can just, they'll see it for what it is. It might feel nice. It might look good, but they actually see deeper than that. Hmm. They see deeper. This is a great vibe. Yeah, we connect. But there's something there that they know that, they, that you might not be able to offer them. What what they are showing you is attachment. Huh. They could be showing you that they are worth someone to be attached to. Just because they are showing you that, that they are someone they can be attached to doesn't mean that they want to be attached to you. Do you get what I'm saying? They are very consciously aware of what they want here. Now, what you are showing them. I'm sorry. What's in your headspace? I'm always doing that. What's in your headspace is the Knight of Swords. You're saying a lot. You're also, your head is very defensive. Uh, your headspace could be blocking the situation because you are in a space of defense mode. Where your heart is at. Your heart is, you're, you, you, who are you fighting? Because I know you ain't fighting with them. You're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with yourself in your head and in your heart. 
you, maybe you see them as competition. Maybe you envy them because you see the level of clarity they have. Taurus, what you're showing them. You're showing them, but you're showing them, maybe you're being clear about what you want or not being clear. You kind of know how that resonates. You're showing them some sort of clarity, but at the same time, you're showing them clarity, but you're, you haven't coped with it because your head in your heart space is not a vibe that I want to fuck with. I wouldn't want to fuck with. It, it's, it, there's still some healing work to be there, but you're showing them that you're clear in what you want. Are you sure you're clear in what you want? This could be a very good situation because I feel like this person, the person you're dealing with, can really show you a lot, can really show you what it is to be aware of what you want. And you are showing them, but this is an ace. Very, very little of it. Um, Right. This is uh, you and, and your space. You're, you're, there's still some. There's still some negativity. You're holding on to some resentment here, and and, and you're figuring out your the clarity is coming within time because you're showing them that you're showing them Ace of Swords, you know where it's not. But the 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 core of the relationship is a King of Swords. Like I said, this very well can lead into this core. I feel like it's leading into the really clear concise communication about what my what my deepest darkest desires really are i don't see cups on your side right i would put a little bit more passion into this um uh, and they don't have that much fire so i would take a look at you know your sexual vibe here i would also take a look at how much how much compassion you're putting out you don't have any cups on your side they do uh, they have cups there so maybe a little bit more love needs to go into them and then you'll see it in return because they're coming from a good heart space. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on closure with closure issues. You very well might need closure issues, which is why you're, you're just starting to figure that out now. Maybe within this relationship, it's making things realized to you, a reality check into what it is. You see the clarity in certain things and you're gaining closure with, with this relationship or potentially could if you haven't even met this person yet or you haven't hung out with this person yet or dated yet, but you're about to, this person really well can teach you a lot. But I want to tell you something. Do not dare take advantage of this other person, Taurus. Don't do it. And But at the same time, they're so well above themselves that they won't allow that. They'll drop you before they even get there because they're not messing up this vibe. And that's probably why they want to stay as friends. Might be a friendly relationship that really can help you gain some closure. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Very well, this is a nice connection here, like I said. Engagement ring, maybe, possibly, right? But more of a partnership here. I do see a very nice partnership that can build here. Them healing you, to be honest. Sometimes that's our, our life purpose is to heal other people. And the chaser, chaser in codependent relationships, fear of abandonment issues. They very well could be that, right? They could also just be sticking this out because they're, they don't want to be alone. Um, but... Chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship. Are you the chaser or are they chasing? I can see you being codependent on them, not going to lie, the way the cards are pulling. Right? And they, they might have abandonment issues, which is why this might have came out because they want to be loved too. They, they don't want to be alone either. So they're willing to stick this out, this relationship to help you heal and also benefits them because they get a partnership at the end of it. Let's ask the angels for advice here. Angels, any messages, guidance you'd like to give to them? No. Take action. It's up to you. There you go, Taurus. And yeah, that is your relationship spread. Let's get into the singles. Singles, I'm going to timestamp this. So if I don't timestamp it, I won't do it. It's a lot of work. So singles, let's do a past, present, future for singles for Taurus. Past, present, future. In the past, you had a lot of options in the past. Could have had a lot of options in love. You could have had. You could have been a player here. You had a lot of options to choose from, or um, you had a lot of choices to make in the past. Your present energy. Now you're living in a space of being very brave. Being very. You should be very vulnerable. 
Uh, maybe you're realizing that those options in the past didn't actually do anything for you, but make you realize that you have to be brave and, and you know, take care of yourself. Maybe they gave you confidence. Having all those choices brought you to the level of the confidence that you're at now. You're like, you know what? People like me and, and I'm confident now. I'm confident in what, who I am and what I know. And in the in your future card, things might not always go your way, but I wanna I wanna tell you something. Just because things don't always go your way, don't see it as a loss, right? You're being brave and you're putting yourself out there. I, you know, I'm down for that. Don't beat yourself up when things don't go well. Just turn around. There's two more cups here. There's still options on the table, right? Don't just get so fixated on things that don't always go well in your favor. And who's coming towards you? It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, very stable. They're very direct. Uh, they will be very direct with you. Uh, people listen to them. People listen to them. And people like to hear what they have to say. They have a lot to say. They're very clear about their communication, you know, which is a strong component to relationships is having clear communication. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Again, another in control, like leader. You got two leaders here. Very well could be someone older than you or just someone who's very leader-like energy, very in control of their life, very creative. They see the big picture behind certain things. Very well could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I see a leader, but I also see a playboy. A leader that's playing the game real good. So be cautious here. Um, if someone's in and out in your life, just drop them right away. Drop them. But anyone that's leader-like aspect, I would pursue, right? Because that's something that you definitely can, you can, you can, you can live off of, and they can live off. And there's an aspect that you can live off of. This is who's coming towards you, leader-like energy. But they might be very busy in their work, and that's why they're back, that dabbling back and forth. They, they might not be a player. I'm just that's that's a playboy card. But they're just they're busy. They're doing a lot. They're very busy, um, but they're solid and they're stable. So those people tend to. Those characteristics tend to um, see the, the value in being patient with things and not trying to jump into something right away because one, they don't have the time to and the, their big picture ideas and their work and whatever they're passionate about is more important than you. And that should be both ways crossed. You should have your own life and they should have theirs. No one should be in a codependent relationship dependent on someone to have friends, to go out, to, to do things, right? Let's get some Oracle cards here for the singles. Baggage be gone. Someone's dropping the baggage from the past that needs to go. If you haven't already, there's your message. Drop that shit because you're blocking things that are coming towards you. Bunny hop jive. You're skipping around and you're gonna. You very well could very well be be trying to dodge somebody here, um, or someone here might be trying to dodge you because they might feel you might be too much baggage, or uh, or note to you don't don't hold on to someone else's baggage. Just move right past that. At your service, right? Someone here wants to to really be at your service here. They want to give you everything that you possibly could want. So if they're coming with, at you with baggage, then you know that's not the one, right? That was a warning sign. You don't want anyone that's with baggage and you don't want anybody that's, that's weaving you through, right? You want someone who's at your service that's willing to give you whatever it is that you want and you're doing it vice versa, right? I think. Taurus, let's pull a hype man card here or three. Sips tea, mind your business. Do you. Don't worry about someone else's baggage. Don't worry about why they're weaving in and out. If they're weaving in and out, that means the attention's not on you. Why do you care why they're not weaving in and out? Why are you gonna put yourself in a mess that's not, mind your business. Listen to daddy. All right, when I wrote this, I really meant to say like, listen to daddy, like listen to the wise counsel. Someone wants to give you some advice, a spiritual advisor, someone who's just wise about certain things. Just listen, listen to your connection to source. God could be your daddy, right? It's just somebody that you go to that you can ask for advice. Go to that person. Saucy situation. Someone could be dealing with a saucy situation um, that you might need to ask advice for. And it's telling you to mind your business and keep things to yourself. Keep it hush hush on the low. Could be. My name is Alvin Capellan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now. Thank you, Taurus.